If you're wondering whether or not you should read Part of Your World, the short answer is no, you should not. Unless it's to do a review like this one, so you can warn other people against reading it. I actually read this a while ago. In fact, it's been so long since I finished this book. I've actually finished reading two other books since then. It just feels like other things are all so much more important than talking about this stupid book. You know, part of your world, what's the plot, you might ask? It takes place in an alternate timeline in which Ariel never defeated Ursula. It says, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? I think what it means to say is, what if Eric had never defeated Ursula? I would also accept, what if Ariel and Eric had never defeated Ursula? Most of the book is just these characters sitting around wondering how they're going to deal with Ursula or how Ursula is going to deal with the other characters. Barely anything ever gets done, and when something does happen, it might as well have not happened. For example, Ursula loses Ariel's voice, and there's a chapter where she tries to make a deal to get another girl's voice, but then that girl ends up backing out, and she gets away. So, there was no point to that chapter existing if Ursula wasn't going to get her voice anyway. Another example is, there's a part where Eric brings up that Ursula signed a marriage contract, which means that he has authority over her in certain areas. But then next thing you know, he just apologizes for bringing that up because he's trying to trick her. So there was no point in bringing that up if they're not going to exploit that. There's even this part where Ariel thinks that she's going to rescue her father, but then Ursula shows up instead and she's like, Ha, you aren't rescuing your father, you're going to do nothing. And I have no idea why she didn't have her guards seize Ariel or kill her right there since she's supposed to be the princess, and since Ursula is the princess in this timeline. And with the author capable of having these characters do so little, you'd think that the book would be a bit shorter, but it's 474 pages long. Wait, 475 pages long. And Eric and Ariel barely interact with each other. There's just a few chapters where they talk to each other. And of course, in the same fashion that Liz Broswell always does, she keeps talking about how these men are mostly boring and those men are mostly boring, and about how the love interest is being framed as a very rare exception to the rule of how boring men are. Which is infinitely ironic because the, her books are so boring. This author has the nerve to make me sit through 475 pages of nothing and then call me boring. And with that, I would rather not have to think about this stupid book anymore. Thankfully, I have another book to tell you about. This is part of a different series, the Disney Villain series. This one is about Ursula. It's mostly about the Odd Sisters and what they were doing during the events of The Little Mermaid with a bit of Ursula here and there. Now, the Disney villain books I have not been impressed with. I don't have the same vendetta against them that I have against Liz Broswell and her Twisted Tales. A while ago I said that if I were to continue reading these books, it would only be to review them, but but lately I've been thinking I'm not really sure that would be worth it, considering that I just have too many other options to keep reading these books. Like, I don't enjoy them very much, and yet I don't have the same venom towards them to keep ranting about them. Now that I've possibly read all the Disney villain books in this series that I'm ever going to read, I'm just gonna tell you what I think is wrong with the approach to these books. This wasn't the case in the first book, but more and more the Odd Sisters became the bigger focus rather than the actual Disney villains, which is inevitably disappointing because they sell you these books with the pictures of the classic Disney villains on the cover. So 
it's nearly impossible to convince you that you're having fun spending so much time with the Odd Sisters rather than Ursula. And with the exception of the first book where the Evil Queen started out not evil, it's just not fun. Well, it's not pleasant to spend so much time with these evil characters who bring so much misery, and that's just the main focus. And the third big problem is that they recycle too much from the movies. There's even a part in this book where it just transcribes the entirety of Poor Unfortunate Souls, the song. If I wanted that song, I could just look up the song. There's dozens of covers out there, and it's not that hard to listen to the song in the movie, so why do I need this book for that? In terms of what these Disney villain books should have been, I think that the first one with the Evil Queen was the closest they got to what they should have been. I had a few issues with the execution, but I think that the Disney villain books should be prequels that just show you how they became the evil person that they are now without them just being jerks for the entire book. I think when I heard of these books, what I envisioned was stories where the villain starts out not villainous, there's a different villain that they have to fight, or there's another adventure that they go on, and they become evil by the end of it. That's sort of what I thought they would be, and that's what I wish they were. So I don't really feel motivated to read any more Disney villain books, but let me know if you'd like me to keep reading them, I guess, for more videos talking about them, or maybe maybe I'm giving up right before they get their act together, I don't know. Because there's already been several other Disney villain books after that one. But every time I make a video talking about The Little Mermaid, I must bring up Prince of Song and Sea. If you're a Little Mermaid fan wanting to read a Little Mermaid book, this is the one. This is the one you need. I know I just called out Poor Unfortunate Souls for recycling too much from the movie, and this is the movie from Eric's perspective, but there's so much added to it, and it never really feels like you're just reading what you've already seen in the movie, either because there's so much description of what's going on in Eric's head, or because it goes over it differently, or because there's stuff that Eric's not aware of, so you're not seeing exactly the same thing in this version. And there really is a lot that's in this book that wasn't in the movie. There's like two or three quests that weren't in the movie. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and read Prince of Song C instead of Part of Your World or Poor Unfortunate Souls.